Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another episode of GenAI Vlog. So in this episode, we're going to be investigating this new repo that I just come across called Docling. Uh, so this is actually a very interesting package. Uh, specifically, it bundles PDF documents are converted for you into JSON as well as Markdown uh, in an easy way. So something like that's interesting, right? Because if you give me any PDF document and I can pretty much automate it to produce JSON Markdown file, it can help me build retrieval augmented generation. It could enhance the content of my chatbot, things like that. Of course, there are other ways to do this. Uh, in this episode, since this is a new package, uh, we're going to dive into how to do that today. So we're going to do this live. What that means is I'm going to go to my collab and we're going to type into the code, install the packages one by one. First things first, let's install the package. OK, so now that this finishes installing, this is great. Let me get rid of these print statements. We can go back and continue the code. Next, I'm going to grab this code here. Let's see what we can do with this. So from Docling document converter, import document converter, uh, here it is a source. So this is a URL to a PDF path. Uh, for example, this is the archive paper. Let's go in there, take a look. So this is the Docling technical report. Here's the PDF here. And let's see if this will work on our code. I'm going to run that. And then let's see what this can do. And let's see what print statement does it give us. Aha, so it's actually asking for hugging based token. I'm going to say grant access. So this looks like it's downloading a bunch of artifacts from hugging face. And they might be using a smaller model because this is not a whole lot of parameters. So that took a little while to load, but now it finishes. I just say this could take a few minutes. So I guess we have to be a little bit more patient with this code up here. And once that's done, let's take a look at these print statements. So for the sake of clarification, I'm going to print them one by one. Uh, so first thing is result. Uh, this is the method render as markdown. So let's see what does it say. So if my understanding is correct, I think what they're doing is they're going to that URL and they're essentially they're scraping that paper and they have some sort of large language model to understand it somehow, specifically from semantic level, and to essentially generate this markdown file. So that's the first print statement. And as you can see here, hashtag Docling Technical Reporter version 1.0, things like that. Here is an abstract, introduction, so on and so forth. Now let's go to the second print statement. Let's put it here. And then let's see what this says. Uh, this is to tag the docs. So specifically, you want to call this method render as doc tags. And let's see. So this kind of looks like HTML for me, uh, like a figure object. And then uh, here we have uh, the tags for us. Not sure how you want to use that. Uh, maybe it depends on particular use case. This You will probably find this helpful. Uh, but essentially, the context is all here. And then additionally, here it actually says that you can directly run Docling in command line interface using this kind of syntax. And of course, there's a helper that serves as a instruction manual. So let's see if we can get this work. First things first, let's see if Docling is in there. So Docling help. And there we go. This is the instructions with all these options that you can do. Now let's see what we have here. Let's say we have this URL that's to an archive paper. Let's see if we can run it in here. Docling, and that's the URL of the archive paper. Let's hit enter. So we see here that it's fetching nine files and it's going to convert it for us. So I think that's done. It takes about 30 seconds. Now let's take a look at LS to see what we have. And boom, there we go. We have the same archive code, but with a .md file. So now let me go to directory and I can see this markdown file here. So if I open that, it will give me this nicely converted archive paper. So let me verify this on website, because this is a separate paper. Doc Lane Net, a large human annotated data set 
for document layout analysis. So two ways. One is to use Python, one is to use CLI, just like what I did here using a terminal window. And both is definitely very feasible for you to build up your markdown file, build up your document base so that you can work with it using large language models, agents, things like that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.